healing has to be spiritual it has to be what what moved in my heart you know what awakened my heart or um, what did i melt could i could i let go of the things that were happening to me so healing was first a part of my own self care that i realized i had to release lot of things from my life to eventually um, you know when it is so much of darkness the light has to come in and that is what healing is what is holistic holistic medicine gives you a good feeling holistic helps you show appreciation of your own self holistic is a positive approach and not to complicate we have a beautiful soul the founder of mudita dr shivani khetan with us today dr shivani has been accoladed with many awards can help you release anger through forgiveness meditation and wants the society to prosper consciously grow spiritually and live abundantly dr shivani is a certified unesco cid expressive arts therapist founder of mudita helps you take control of your life through hypnotherapy has been an author of many books one of them is tarot a healing tool in modern times aapka bahut bahut swagat hai thank you rashi and thank you so much for these lovely words to, to start with dr shivani <clears throat> aap humko please bataiye about dr shivani khetan and the mission and vision of mudita over to you dr shivani khetan uh, started with shivani khetan <laughs> um, i got married and i am actually i'm a textile designer again married to someone in textiles or exporting stuff and after marriage i realized i wanted to keep that path to myself now so i went into meditation tarot so shivani started understanding herself through meditation through tarot and helping children out with their problems and uh, getting into counseling because my tarot was not about predictions it was all about understanding limitations so from that time the teacher i got she said just help people don't spread fear with this if you can do it just spread faith and don't spread fear so that was the line which i always kept in mind and through that journey uh, i realized this was my path started doing a lot of work on myself um raising kids marriage as you know it that takes most of your time the children were once the nest was empty and they had to go to uh, their own respective places for studies for the studies so i remembered as if i was unemployed and i felt what to do now so then i started using my path and tarot was something that has always got me good word and uh, and to be very honest i've got lots of love and uh, for whatever work i have done because i've done most of the work was in charity at that time and last year my mother was diagnosed dementia and uh, she came to stay with me and that's because i'm the only girl child and she always thought as a girl you're not supposed to stay with your child but due to circumstances uh, it was decided that she just came to me and that journey came in mudita because i realized how lonely she was and at that age when you don't have your husband how uh, difficult it is and when you are diagnosed with dementia because you don't want to remember things that used to make you happy that is where dementia starts it doesn't just happen in one day and uh, so uh, mudita she is the face of mudita now so for one year we started working on her mental health everything and uh, so mudita is only and only because of her that's how mudita came in and the the vision behind it to work for the community 70 plus how we can give them a purposeful life and make them remember what they have raised us to be mudita is a by product of her i think that's a lot of good work and lot of helpful work what inspired you to begin with this like the whole healing journey and what are the different energy healing treatments you offer over to you like i said i started as a tarot uh, reader uh, for self development and healing uh, happened because i myself went through a lot of changes in my life where i realized see we we are um, 
humans. So thoughts are going to come, things are going to happen. We are going to feel good and we are going to feel bad. Now, what rules us? What are we feeding and what are we starving? That is the question. <laughs> and then I realized uh, when I was helping people out with tarot, with Reiki, with Theta, uh, crystal healing, I realized I was not able to touch their belief system. I was able to do everything. 10 days may ho jayega, ab water therapy kar liche, ab ye kar liche, do this, do that, everything. But I was not able to touch their belief system. And in 10 days, 15 days, some healed and some used to come back again. Oh, you know, uh, it's very, it's, uh, how can I forget? How can I forgive? They were so rude to me. They were so this to me. So that made me realize that uh, this is not going to work. It can, it's a temporary thing that I'm working on. And that's when I went, for, even I had done my research. Uh, and through that research, I was trying to tell people, you do not need to go to any tarot reader. You do not need to go to any astrologer. Healing starts from within. And these are certain cards and certain way, because the book Tarot, a healing tool in modern times, it's my research work, where you can sit and work on yourself for 21 days, and you will see a massive shift that will happen to you. But, but you have to have that faith. Uh, and as you know, people can give astrologer 10,000 rupees, okay, do puja for myself, but they will not sit down themselves and do one mala, which can be just om or just sitting with yourself and your relationship and giving them a pink energy and releasing what you don't want them to give. In fact, you're always intoxicating them with what you don't want. As a result, that person only has hatred to give you. If only I could send love, I would get love but it takes practice. So that is why I went for my doctorate of science where I ended up doing it in expressive uh, art therapy and how therapeutic this can be for us. And uh, then I went for my UNESCO license, which is done in uh, Shalimar Bagh Fortis hospitals. So that is where I got my license three years back. And uh, it helped me a lot to touch the belief system of people. And it helped me to understand why they were doing the certain things they were doing, why the behavior was coming from, and why healing does not start. So uh, it, is a, it is actually a journey to understand how we can help people through their belief system. And then the hypnotherapy, uh, because uh, there are certain habits we cannot change. I mean, even if I have identified the belief system, uh, the subconscious mind is having its own gallivanting time and it's giving you that thing and the body is acting like that. Consciously, I know I have to respect someone, but subconsciously, I have all hatred for that person. So the body is going to react like that. So that is why I went for my different levels of hypnotherapy where uh, we were working on how to release and help you to put uh, and plant those uh, beautiful affirmations. But before that, again, the therapy has to happen that you can you can actually accept that. If I'm not accepting and I plant something in your mind, it's not going to stay there. Bhati Saralta se apne bhati achhi baat bata di Dr. Shivani. So why is healing important and how effective is alternative healing medicine? Kitni bimariya aisi hoti hain agar hum chronic diseases bhi le. So, we visit a healer. So, please tell us about that. It's a great question, actually, uh, because as you know, the complementary or the alternative healing medicine science, well, it's not a part of your everyday uh, medicine line. And uh, people only go to that when there is no other uh, route uh, to correct yourself. So, uh, I would say, first of all, one needs to understand these medicines that you are taking, which are very safe. Um, there is no side effects to it. And they all work on your emotional level first. See, so even if you're doing um, expressive art therapy, you're going to someone for a session, uh, you have to understand it is coming from art, music, dance, movement. These are the four things, aspects they're going to touch. Um, Bash remedies, which is very uh, much uh, these days being used. Uh, again, it is working on your emotions, loss, loneliness. Where is your fear coming from? What is it that you're resisting? It's on the lines of 
they have 38 remedies, especially they're all taken from flower. It's a flower remedy. Then it's hemopathy that comes to your mind, which we have seen all our life. And as children, we have gone to that for, because our parents did not want us to have these strong medicines. And I remember I, as a child, my mother took me so many times. She's having pimples. She's having, there's nothing to lose, you know, and um, they had certain things that you can eat and certain things you have to avoid. And then if you see the best example I can give you is India, for example, is the Ayurveda. Uh, how Ayurveda helps with you and how they work on your uh, body system, your uh, how you're reacting to certain things. And they help you with that, naturopathy. Then there is Tibetan practice, then there's Chinese practice. There's so many of them and each one has its benefits. Only if you are willing and the person knows that these are what I will get from it and these are the things I need to understand, like, for a cancer patient spiritually or the prayers or the chants, they help them immensely with all this. Going to a healer gives them a feeling of the pressure that they're having, the anxiety they're having. It helps them to control that. Again, a very slow process, but it has what it has. Now, if someone is trying to tell you there is a miracle integrant in this, this will happen this will go away. Now, one needs to be um, cautious of such words, I would say. But otherwise, complementary alternative medicine has plus points. All it requires is people to do some more research on it, some more people to spread it, some right people to practice. It's like I, I, go, I completely go by Bash remedies and I say Edward Bash, he was an MD doctor and he was a homeopath. And in 1900, he created this amazing kit. Now, one needs to understand only what formula I have to give to this person. Now, if that formula even goes wrong, let's say, you have nothing to lose. The other person will try again. Okay, probably you were not able to tell the emotion and she couldn't give you the right diagnosis of it. But other than that, I think you have nothing to lose. So the fear can go away and the faith can come in. So, But alternative healing medicines are great as long as uh, we know and we are able to educate the person who is doing with us, that this is what you will get. Because see, as we all know, human values, everything is very precious. You, know, you can't lose it you know, on anything. But at least that knowledge needs to be given. That this is what you will get. If someone comes to me, I always tell them, listen, I do 12 sessions. In 12 sessions, I'm going to do this with you. If nothing else, you will walk away with this at least. That's how we do it. I'm not going to give you a miracle. Okay, in 20 days, this is going to happen and you will be a new person. No, we'll have to come for some follow-ups also so that you are not going back to your... Uh, way you used to think. Like I have this uh, very strange case and was a gynecologist in, uh, in a government hospital uh, in Mumbai. And uh, she has worked all her life. She's 85 now. A doctor and she retired seven years back. Even as a, as a normal practice, she started working in a hospital and again she... And now today this person is having Parkinson's, she's having dementia, she's not able to sit. She, she knows everything, but she doesn't want to talk. So we started some clay therapy with her and all. And yesterday was my second session with her. And I would say last time, I think if I had a session for 35 uh, minutes, which was very difficult. Uh, but yesterday it was, I think, 50 minutes. And she said, I would like to come again. And she was able to, even the clay thing, you know, to mold that clay, she was not very, very, in the first one, she was very resistant to it. Now, a very small smile came to her and she said, I'm willing to come on the next session. And I just asked her what color she's liking. She said, I like green. I said, what does green symbolize for you? She said, tree. And then I said, what do you like from tree? She said, it's, it's nice. I get, you know, we get fruits from there and we get shade from there. So this kind of conversation happened with her. That is what we are aiming at, that at least hope can come. And if hope comes in, then, then some work can start happening. Kisi ko ek muskurahat dena bhi ye sabse bada aur sabse acha kam hota hai and ye Dr. Shivani kar rahe hai. Ek patient hai jisko ho gya hai COVID. Now, wo terrified hai. Because shayad ho ek mahina 
होकर आ गए हॉस्पिटल एंड बच गए लेकिन यू नो वो टेरर और वो फियर और वो टेंशन कि मेरे वालों को ना हो जाए सो वॉट वुड यू सुजेस्ट एज अलिंग ट्रीटमेंट फॉर सच पेशेंट हु जस्ट यू नो अंडर गॉन दिस बैड फेस that this question is very hour of the need actually so so that's we all are actually in that uh, line um so when you are asking me that the first thing comes to me is one needs to take rest and one needs to take adequate uh, sleep why because see suddenly you feel i'm fine now i lost my one month i have to suddenly switch into my work and i need to do this i need to do that how do i finish it you know those deadlines so you need to understand you've gone through this take another two weeks to get back to that you just don't rush into that that will happen only if you give yourself rest and you take proper sleep third is your food what kind of a food are you eating are you eating your proteins that is very important whatever food that you eat please ask yourself are you eating the protein because protein is something that is going to give you that strength so are you eating egg are you eating paneer are you eating uh, now you have plant proteins also so what is your source of protein that is going to help you that then how is your vitamin d your b12 uh, and calcium or are you taking sufficient intake or are you taking those vitamins if not have you required your doctor to ask them to help you on that part then comes how much water are you taking you have to have sufficient amount of water then comes sunlight are you taking at least 15 minutes of sunlight now i understand it's a hot country and oh my skin will go away so put your sunscreens sit by the back and i think morning 9 10 uh, sun is fantastic to sit with even in these times so do that that's going to really really help you then comes um, can you sit for 15 minutes silence mindfulness can you see your breathing or let's say i don't want to do meditation it doesn't come to me fine sit for 15 minutes see only the sky or the plants or the leaves or anything or the pot that you have the nice flower can you do that for 15 minutes that will really rest you can you go slow on your gadgets have one hour where you're not looking at your gadgets now i'm giving those options which you feel you can do that is because we have we are doing everything online now so you can pick up some skill some music you used to do give yourself those 15 minutes read a book and it's very amazing to read some inspirational books read some books that inspire you so these are few things you can do which are very easy i'm not saying go to a crystal healer get yourself some crystals i'm not saying anything i'm saying these are very basic things you don't need to go to a healer also because you yourself are a healer if someone is round the clock someone like me you feel someone can help you with bash remedies some some anger is coming fix up a, 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 a expressive art therapy session for yourself they very they not very expensive one session just to rejuvenate yourself just to follow up okay these were the fears that i i they were triggered can i fix them do some art as you get in touch with yourself you will see the inner voice will tell you but don't be in a hurry to fix things or and the last but not the least i would definitely advise uh, and people encourage them to uh, not have their smoking habits uh, for some time they they can leave it if they can and then the tobacco chewing Uh, these two three things you know and uh, and and of course keep a check if you're back you need to keep a check what are the changes coming to my life am i having my breathing uh, is it fine am, am i feeling it raised up or something like that or there uh, warm flushes coming what is triggering me so you need to keep a check of it for at least 3 weeks to understand what are the mood swings that i'm having and but if your vitamins are fine your food is great and then see if if my body is allowing me for a walk or i don't want to go out there's some something i don't want to do and do some yoga and nowadays we have a lot of help around we have a lot of good work happening like you have come up with this 
uh, project where you are trying to empathize, energize, empower people around you. Now, there is a lot of effort going into this, which people don't understand. But if you can do it, so if it is my life, I need to be 100% in control of my life. I cannot blame my parents did this to me. My, my father did this to me. My, my, my in-laws are like this. Oh, no, no, you are not taking responsibility of yourself. And you need to stand. So where is the fear coming from? Work on it. So it's about healing is all about taking responsibility. That is all I would like to sum it with. हम अपने सारे व्यूअर्स सारे फॉलोअर्स जितनी भी कम्युनिटीज हमारे साथ जुड़ी हुई हैं, जो भी यंगस्टर्स हैं जो भी मिडिल एज हैं, अगर आपके घर में सीनियर्स हैं आपके पेरेंट्स हैं आपके लॉज हैं या आप खुद हैं और आपको खुद को लगता है कि आपको हीलिंग की जरूरत है हमें ऐसे लगता है कि हमें नहीं है बट इफ देर आर थॉट्स डेट आर एक्चुअली कीपिंग यू विदाउट स्माइल्स Please get in touch with this lady. I think she is there to help you out. And uh, her treatments, her alternative medicine therapies, her expressive art therapies are just amazing. And her numbers and her details, everything is available in this feed, in this video. Please get in touch with Dr. Shivani for all your concerns. Sirf thodi der agar aapko hasne ki bhi zarurat hai. I think she will be glad to do that because uh, we have been smiling throughout the session and I think it has been wonderful. May I release all energies that are less than love. Help. free my mind and body of all that no longer serves me this is what dr shivani khetan speaks about get in touch with her and aapka bahut bahut thanks mm-hmm.